this video let us look at functions procedures and views so for that let us create table create table sql basics dot dbo dot class class table it has got the fields id which is an integer type and it is not null student which is a where care of 50 and it's null subject where care of 50 null and marks integer null so let us execute this and right click tables refresh the class table has been created the columns id student subject marks now let us insert some data into it so insert into sql basics dot dbo dot class values ids have given 1 to 10 and uh, students uh, there are uh, a and b students a and b students are there and uh, subjects physics chemistry biology social maths and these are the marks so let us enter these data execute and now let us see that table so look at the table data select star from class because we are already there in this sql basics database there's no need to give sql basics dot dbo for class so just you can just give the table name execute so these are all the records that are there in the table now let us create the function scalar function it returns a single value so let us create this function so to create the function should be create function fn open braces close braces and what does it return it returns integer you can if you are returning where care you can give it as where care returns integer as begin return 3 i am returning 3 here and then end so this is the function execute if i go to programmability and under the folder functions i go to scalar value function and dbo.fn has been created here so that function fn it's a returns an integer type and that return value is 3 so if i execute that function i can execute it with the select statement select sql basics dot dbo dot fn execute raise return 3 so that's how we can create the scalar valued functions now let us look at the table valued function table valued function it is a user defined function that returns data of a table type the scalar uh, function return just a single value now this returns a table type so let us create function create function i'm naming it as tfn open braces close braces and what will it return it returns table as return what should it return select student subject marks from sql braces dot do dot class so it is there are 10 rows inside this so it will return that as a table type so let us create this function it so right click table value functions refresh 
dbo.efn table valued function has been created now select star from this table valued function so it return all the 10 rows so that's how you can uh, create a table value function and call the function there are some uh, aggregate functions like count of star returns the number of records in the table sum of uh, some function returns the sum of all the marks if i am taking the sum of marks it will return me the sum of whole marks average of i can calculate the average of the marks i can calculate uh, maximum of marks i can calculate minimum of marks as this one should be minimum okay, from this class so if i take all these marks into an excel sheet and then if i go and say sum i get 687 and if i take all these marks in another column and then i can calculate the average here average is 68.7 So what is the maximum mark is 93 and minimum mark is 42 go down and see the minimum mark is 42 and we have seen here that total is uh, 687 and the average is 68.7 so now i'm calculating all those here in this sql count of star there should be 10 records in this table sum of marks as total average marks as average and maximum of marks and minimum of marks so if i execute this okay, there are 10 rows total we have just seen here that's it's 68 687 average should be 68.7 because uh, here uh, marks is an integer type so it will round off so we got uh, 68.7 has been round off, rounded off I mean and it's showing as 68 maximum is 93 and minimum is 42 that's how you can these aggregate functions can be used to calculate these uh, values now let us create a stored procedure so the syntax for it is create proc and store procedure name store proc test that is the name i have given so create proc store proc test as i'm asking it to select star from sql basics or dbo dot class i'm asking it to give all the records in the class table and then return so if i create this store procedure that store procedure will be created here in the store procedures. So if I right click and then refresh, the stored proc test has been created. Now that if I execute that stored proc test, it will give me select star from this class table. So for that, the execution is exec and the stored procedure name exec stored proc test if i execute this see all the records in the class table has been returned that's how you can create a stored proc procedure views now let us look at a view how do you create a view so create view dpo dot test view that is the syntax has here also I am saying select star from SQL basic dot dbo dot class. So if I 
create this execute so it will be created in the views test view has been created so now to select the records from this test view it should be select star from sql places dot dvo dot test view so it is returning all the 10 rows so that's how you can create a function procedure uh, store procedure and then uh, views if you like the video please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button for notifications on upcoming videos please click on the bell icon